What's up, guys? Prevised here. Today we're gonna learn how to make a leaderboard in Roblox. So go in workspace, insert object script. Le leaderboard. Cool beans. All right, so I'll just exit out. All right. So what we need to do is insert a model into a player. That model would be called leader stats, and insert that model. In that model, we need to insert a a value. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that. I know you, you're you, whoever's watching, you're not understanding what I'm saying, but you will after this video. You'll see what I mean. Okay. So, we need to make a function. So, let's go game dot players dot player player added is an event it says it right here event so that so what this does is game it everything's everything is game everything is inside game sorry and players right here and player added is whenever someone joins inside players that's what that player added means connect function so this is the function always spell function wrong why all right so in here we're gonna want to put player you can put whatever you want though it does not have to be player so make sure you have this end all right so now local stats actually stats variables just letting you know variables are they are not case sensitive like it could be a lowercase s. This can a variable can be whatever you want. Okay. So stats equals instance dot new. What instance dot new is it inserts an object. Like part. If I wanted to this would insert a part. We don't want that. So we want to insert a model. Like I said at the beginning of the video. We want a model inside our player. So to do that, we would put in player, because we have a function. So to understand this better, so here's a function game dot players dot player added. So when a player joins, when a player gets in here, and we have this little thing right here, we want to insert a new object called model inside player. If this would be like a, then we would have to put that a. Hope you guys got to understand that. Now stats dot name equals. So we're making a string right here. You put quotes. This is called a string. So stats dot name leader stats. Now if it if it's a capital L, I I highly doubt that would work. I really never tried that. I've always done a lowercase L. But this has to be leader stats, guys. Has to has to just like that now now we're gonna make like a timer so it would show how many seconds a player has been in the game let's do that so local t local timer instance dot new now we want to insert a int value so this int value is gonna have like how m how many seconds we have been in the game so in value now we want to insert this in value inside stats which is a model that has been inserted into player this is what it's gonna look like look we have the we have it right here but see it says value it's because we need to change the name so see leader stats now if it was if it would be D, it, it would, let's see. Well, I can't disable or anything, but just keep it leader stats. Okay. Now, see, we inserted a value into stats, which is leader stats. Now, okay. yeah. So, let's see. So, 
now timer dot value oh first off as y'all seen the name was value oh what happened here oh because we got an error because we're not finished let's just take this off see it shows value maybe you wanted it to say timer now to do that we would do timer dot name equals now this is called a string right here so so now we want to change the timers name which would be where a value was which I just now showed you so let's name it timer you could put whatever you want oh so now timer dot value equals zero so some of you are probably wanting to do this but that's a string that's for text but now we want to this is a value right here a number value you don't need a string you just need numbers whatever number you want so we're gonna start off at zero okay now to change the timer every one second we're gonna do uh this is called a loop while true do so it, this is gonna keep going on forever and ever that's what this loop is now if we want to change every one second we change the value now it's gonna be very simple so wait one which will wait one second then timer dot value equals timer dot value plus one so let's see what that's gonna do so as you guys can see it goes up every second and it does it non-stop so what the script does as you can see it does non-stop it waits one second one so like yeah so that's what the wild true do does. It just keep, it does. It keeps looping. So it runs, waits one second, then it changes, and it keeps going back and forth. Just showing you what it does. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.